Hej och välkommen till Elby Förenings Youtube kanal. Vi har nettopp varit upp på Grefsenkollen i Oslo och sett på den nya helelektriska Ford F150 Lightning. Den videon kan du se på om en chapp genomgång vi hade med bilen och vad vi syns om den vid att klicka länken uppe här. Men jag har med mig två amerikaner som är er på besök här i Norge som har faktiskt kört bilen ganska länge. De har till och med tagit ut campingvagn efter den och vi ska höra lite med dig de om hur deras upplevelse med den nya F Ford Ford F150 Lightning var. Welcome to Norway. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Tell me your names because I've forgotten them already. <laughs> no worries. Jace. Jace and I'm Joe. And Joe. And uh, where are you guys from? I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Ohio. Albany, New York. Uh, New York, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you guys have been driving the Ford F-150 Lightning. How long have you been driving How long have you been testing it for? Uh, since uh, the first Lightning we got was in November of 2022. Yeah. And I got mine in June of 2022. June of 2022, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you've had it for, well, not quite a year, but like yeah. 10 months or so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So, I'm guessing you're American. You've been used to big... Uh, internal combustion engine cars, a bit like what we're standing next to here. Uh, was this your first experience with an electric car or have you had electric cars before? I owned a Mustang Mach-E for about a year um, before that. So um, really early on, like March 2021. So that was my first kind of entrance into the EV realm and uh, it got me hooked. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And what, how about yourself? This is my first EV. Um, first I EV? came from a gas pickup, uh, a gas F-150. Uh, you said you... you, you towed a, a 12 meter yes. uh, camper behind the van. Uh, obviously, like you said, it had a bit of effect on the on the range in it. But mm -hmm. I mean, how, 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 how is it to tow something like in, in the US? Uh, how is it with charging? Or do, you, do you get range anxiety? Or? Uh, when I first got the truck, I had range anxiety almost immediately. Our first road trip um, ended up, um, we were very close to low and I was not trusting the truck to tell me where to charge. Um, from that point on, I always let the truck pick where it wants to charge um, with the, the navigation software, and it, I, it never messes up. Um, it just trusts the truck is, is, is really the, the key to killing the range anxiety. Really? Tell me a bit, little bit about the infrastructure in, in the US with electric cars now. Yeah, um, growing every day, um, not just the electric vehicle sales themselves, but also the charging networks themselves. Um, we have a lot of work to do, but we're really making a lot of progress. I mean, stations are literally opening daily. Um, we have companies such as Subway, Chipotle, um, you know, Walmart um, that are that are opening charging networks, you know, soon, um, along with, you know, the typical players like Electrify America, um, you know, and ChargePoint. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, a, it's a work in progress for sure, but it's, it's really coming along quickly how, how is it as a family car because it's, it's it's not quite the sort of as lux i mean it's it's well built but yeah. it's not got the same sort of premium sure design i think you might say we it, but like you said the utility is huge um we for my case specifically we have the two two little shih tzus and we actually own a ford kennel and it folds up it's 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 actually pretty cool and it fits perfectly right in the back seat so we can put them make sure and it ties down so we we know they're safe when we're on the road and the kids lucky is like as big as a kindergarten yeah that? so my my <laughs> four-year-old um obviously i'm i'm a very tall person he's tall as well um, he uh, fits perfectly in the back seat he's got one of the uh, larger car seats um, and it fits great and I, uh, I, was, I was having a little look I didn't get to test it obviously it was the the trailer uh, assist uh, yes. where you can both re it reverses the car for you into the trailer hitch yep. and then it will actually you can you know reverse the trailer you buy just dialing where you mm -hmm, want it mm -hmm. uh, have you tested that both of you or I have on the boat yes um, yeah uh, we it's actually convenient um, Sometimes, you know, one of us is not home to hook up the boat. So um, we, we have tested that out and it works really well. It's just, you know, one person being able to, to hook up the boat. It makes the job so much simpler. Yeah. And a 12 meter trailer. <laughs> right. It's exactly the same thing. It, you know, that, that cumbersome issue of having your, your significant other behind you, yelling out the window at each other. Um, <laughs> yeah. You don't have that anymore. So it, it's, it's really easy. And onboard scales too, which is really cool. That's yes. another cool feature. Like there's, ah. there's some really neat um, things that, um, you know, using just it by yourself, um, you know, and it, you don't always have that second person to kind of rely on. So um, it, it's just easy to... Okay, so it's got onboard scales. It tells you how much load you've got in Correct. the car. Yeah. Wow. So 
you know, you've got certain people like yourselves who are quite open for electri electrifying their, their car park, as it were. Yeah. Um, where, but there is still quite a lot of animosity amongst, mm -hmm. you know, in the US. Uh, it could, could the new F-150 Lightning, is that the car that maybe could start tipping the scales to, towards I think electric it is. truck culture yeah. in America is huge. Yeah. Um, everyone has to have a pickup truck, at least up in New York. It's very popular. Um, you start electrifying a pickup truck, that, that's that's the core of, of our culture sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going to start changing and turning people's heads. Um, you know, I have people in traffic um, pulling up next to me going, what is that? What are, what are you in? Yeah. Um, and, you know, I'd lo love to tell them every time um, and show them as well um, the capabilities of it and the speed of it and the, the, the pickup on it. So mm -hmm. it's, it's fun. The grocery store trips with the yes. front open. I mean, that is, <laughs> that's it's, my favorite thing it's hands do. down yep. the most common, you know, jaw-dropping thing that I people see, that see being like a mind what is, yeah. where you're putting yeah. your groceries on top of your engine like what they're gonna melt what are you doing you know and it, it, it without fail every yeah. single time people are just blown away but well thank you very much for taking the trip to Norway and I understand you're having a little bit look about what you know how far the electric cars have come in Norway and how we've managed to get that to, yeah. um, you know to, to work here and stuff yes. so thank you very much for talking to us enjoy the rest of your trip yeah. Tusen takk for at du ser på. Hvis du likte videoen, så må du gjerne trykke like. Gjerne abonner på kanalen, så får du varsel med en gang vi laster opp nye videoer. Og har du noen spørsmål, er det noe vi glemte, lurer på noe, skriv gjerne i kommentarfeltet. Så leser og svarer vi så godt vi kan alt som blir skrevet der. Og så ses vi neste gang.